The British counter-terror police arrested 12 men early Monday morning. The arrests were made at the same time in various locations throughout the UK. Well, details are still emerging, but police say they're questioning the men about a possible plan to commit an act of terrorism. Well, senior international correspondent Dan Rivers is outside the London police headquarters, Scotland Yard, and he joins us now. Dan, what do we know? Uh, well, we know uh, where these men were arrested. Five uh, picked up in Cardiff in Wales, four in Stoke-on-Trent and three in London. They're aged between 17 and 28 years old, arrested uh, on suspicion of commissioning, preparing or instigating an act of terrorism. Uh, beyond that, the police aren't really giving out much more information at all. I just talked to one source who says they are still trying to identify uh, these men and their nationalities. Uh, there is uh, some reporting here uh, that they are perhaps Bangladeshi. Initially, we were told they may have been Pakistani. Uh, I think they, the, the, the security services here are trying to find out exactly where they are from. Uh, but um, uh, clearly uh, this was done during uh, dawn raids uh, here in the UK at 5 a.m. We're told the police officers were unarmed uh, and the small bit of information that the police have put out is said that this is a large-scale pre-planned intelligence-led operation uh, involving several police forces. Uh, the West Midlands is the lead force uh, on this, although uh, we understand that the security service MI5 has been uh, involved with this for a number of weeks. Uh, and have decided to act now. We don't know uh, why specifically now they've decided to move in if they thought that the plot was uh, imminently uh, uh, about to, to be put into operation. We don't know what the uh, alleged target was uh, and we don't know what sort of method of uh, terrorism these men are alleged to have been uh, thinking about, whether this was uh, bombs or so on. We're being steered away though from any suggestion this was a Mumbai style uh, attack involving you know, weapons uh, on a shopping centre or anything like that. Dan, I realise that details are still rather sketchy, but authorities, are they saying anything as to whether these suspects are linked to the, uh, the, the, the recent plots against Europe? Uh, yeah, no, they're saying there's, there's uh, firmly no link at the moment that they've uncovered uh, with these uh, attacks in Sweden earlier this month. Uh, but beyond that, we really haven't got much more information as to, as to the wider plot. I mean, clearly, you know, this is, this is a pretty big uh, swoop of 12 people. Uh, I was uh, sort of talking to one source and he was pointing out previous operations like Operation Pathway in 2009 up in Manchester, uh, which, in which police moved in. But no, uh, or, you know, 11 of those uh, men, I think, that were arrested in that operation were then re were released without charge. Uh, and there was a sort of feeling that, um, you know, don't be surprised if, uh, you know, not all of these men are, are charged. If, you know, there, there's a possibility, I suppose, that some of them, that there's not enough evidence uh, against them. But simply, we, you know, they're not giving us much information at all at the moment. We're being told these men are being processed in police stations uh, right now. They're busy trying to identify exactly where they are from uh, and, you know, uh, which countries are involved and what are the wider international uh, dimensions of all this.